From the archives of Country Life magazine comes Clive Aslett's Arts and Crafts Country House. This was the movement that inspired an alternative vision of life, the revival of traditional building crafts using local materials and they gave due reverence to old buildings and the restorative powers of nature. These ideas were seized upon by William Morris and his circle and by 1900 Britain had developed a distinctive school of domestic architecture. Country Life magazine commissioned Edwin Lutchens and Gertrude Jekyll and there was a distinctive arts and crafts bias to the magazine's content. They had specially commissioned photographs and here is a huge unique gallery of those from their archives in this lively survey of 25 of Britain's most important country houses, right from Lindisfarne Castle in Northumberland to more country style. And not just the gardens, but the exteriors, interiors. This is Vowood in Norfolk, absolutely classical arts and crafts house there. That's Standon in Sussex. We go to the Lake District, to Red House, Bexley Heath, in this beautiful volume, colour and black and white, as you can see, 192 inspirational pages and 150 illustrations. Peerless, peerless. <laughs> Half price bargain through bibliophilebooks.com. This book was published at £40. And here it's just £20. That's Kelmscott Manor in Oxfordshire, Mill William Morris's home. Yes, it's a £20, that is a bargain price. Arts and Crafts Country House.